Hi, this is Rob. In this video, I'll show you how to install the AWS SAM CLI on your dev machine and use it to create an S3 bucket. First, I'll give you a bit of info on why I'm creating this particular video. I'm currently participating in the September 22 Cloud Resume Challenge Sprint, AWS version. We're in week one and we need to build and host a static website in S3 with a CloudFront distribution and a Route 53 domain. I've previously done this type of configuration in the AWS console, and I have a video on how to do that in my AWS hands-on playlist. But for the challenge, I want to build all my infrastructure as code, or IAC as it's commonly referred to. And to do this, I'll use the AWS SAM, the serverless application model. So that's where this video comes in. I need to install the SAM CLI on my new dev machine. To get started, I'll run a few commands in the terminal to see what my current local AWS configuration looks like. First, I'll run AWS version just to ensure the AWS CLI is installed. Then I'll run AWS configure list and we'll see that although I don't have a profile configured, I do have a default region set. I'll be using AWS Vault for my local profile configuration, so I'll just run a quick command to make sure that that's installed. And it is. And I actually have a video in this playlist that will show you how to install and configure AWS Vault if you'd like to do that as well. Now I'll run AWS Vault list and we see that I don't yet have any profiles configured. So to create a profile in AWS Vault, I first need to head over to IAM and get an access key and secret access key for a user. I'll start by creating a new group named developers and attach S3 full access for this demo. I'll create the group and I'll create a user. I'll select access key for the credential type and add the user to the developers group and then create the user. From here I'll copy the access key and the secret access key which I'll delete after I finish this video then head back over to the terminal. I'll execute the command AWS vault add and give a name for my profile. Then I'll paste in the access key and the secret access key then do an AWS vault list just to make sure that the profile is created. And now I can move on and install the SAM CLI. And since I'm on a Mac, I'll be using these commands to install using brew. And now if I execute a SAM version, we'll see that the SAM CLI has been installed. Now I can use SAM to spin up an S3 bucket. So I'll start by running SAM init to initialize the SAM project for us. And I'll enter 1 to use an AWS quick start template. I'll enter 1 again for the hello world example. And here I'm going to say no because I'm not sure what version of Python the SAM CLI uses by default and I want to make sure that I pick Python 3.8 because that's what I have installed on my machine. So I'll enter 14 here. I'll use zip as the packaging. I'll say no for x-ray in this demo. Give the project a name and wait for it to clone and configure the project. Okay, now with the project initialized, I'll change into the project folder and run the SAM build command, which will prepare the SAM template for deployment. And it looks like the build succeeded. Now, before we can move on to the next step in SAM, I need to jump back over to IAM in the AWS console, go to user groups, select my developer group, and I need to add some more permissions to the S3 full access policy that I provided when I created the group. And the reason I need to add these policies 
is due to the infrastructure that Sam will spin up because of the Hello World template that I selected when I initialized the project. And I'll need that infrastructure as part of the Cloud Resume Challenge as I progress through the sprint. So the first policy I'll add is I am full access and I'll add Lambda full access, API Gateway Administrator, and CloudFormation full access. And I'll go ahead and add the permissions. Now, back in the terminal, I'll execute AWS Vault exec, pass my user profile name, specify that I don't need a session, and then execute SAM deploy guided, which as the name says, will provide a wizard which will guide me through the deployment. So here I'll give the stack a name. I'll take the default region, which is set up in my AWS config profile. I don't need to confirm changes. Yes, Sam can create a role. Won't disable rollbacks. That's fine. Yes, save arguments. Take the default and the default. And it looks like I have an issue. So let me jump back over to the console. Okay, so the issue that I had was I must have had a copy paste error for the access key or the secret access key. So what I did was I deleted the old access key, created a new one. Then I went back to the terminal and I ran AWS fault remove to remove the profile Rob that I had previously created. Then I did AWS vault add and I added the profile back with the new access key and the new secret access key. Then I went back and executed AWS vault exec passing Rob, my profile name, no session, Sam deploy guided again. And I went through and chose the same options as I did previously when I ran into the error. And this time with the new profile, as you can see, the deployment is running. And with the deployment complete, if I jump over into CloudFormation, we see we have two new stacks created. The first one is for the SAM CLI, and the second one is the demo stack that was created from the Hello World template. If we look at the resources, we'll see the resources that were created as a result of using that default template. Now what I want to do is launch VS Code and take a look at that default template that was provided and modify it to create an S3 bucket. Okay, so in VS Code, I have the template YAML file open, and I'm not gonna spend a lot of time going through the template itself, but I am going to add a new resource for a website. So the resource type will be an S3 bucket, and it'll have a bucket name of my website bucket with today's date. So now I'll save the template, go back to the terminal, and I'll run a SAM build to pick up the new changes. Then I can run a SAM deploy again, but this time I don't need to use the guided flag since the last time I ran it, I told it to save my commands. So if we kick this off and jump back over into CloudFormation and refresh, we see that the demo stack now has an update in progress. And it looks like the update was successful. So I just jump back here and refresh again. And the update's complete. So now if I go over to S3, we see the My Website bucket with today's date. Now before we end the demo, I'm going to jump back over to Cloud Formation, select the stack, and delete it to free up the resources. And now we see the stack has been deleted. So that concludes this video on installing the SAM CLI.
I hope you found it helpful.